Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, today I will be reviewing the Deadpool minibus. Uh, front cover you have Deadpool minibus and a small Deadpool, actually it's not small, it takes up like half the book. <laughs> um, you have a Deadpool uh, uh, image. Um, on the side, on the spine you have Marvel minibus, Deadpool, and you have an image of Deadpool right here. And on the back um, you have an image from Deadpool kills the Marvel Universe and you have some writing up top. You can pause that and read if you'd want to. <clears throat> um, on the inside of the dust jacket, you have a uh, little Deadpool giving a synopsis of what the uh, minibus contains. And on the other side, you have the biographies of the creator, uh, writer, pencilers, and inkers. Um, without the dust jacket, Design's pretty much the same. You just have that uh, Deadpool logo on the front cover. Um, Deadpool, Marvel minibus, and a plain black back. Yeah. <laughs> um, <clears throat> binding holds up pretty well. It is a small um, omnibus minibus. So the separation between the inner ribbon and the outer spine is small, but you can see there is a clear separation. Um, lays really flat. Not really any gutter loss at all. Um, the only time <clears throat> where I did have to hold the pages down was when there was a two-page splash. Um, you know, when uh, when it would be like a full full two-page spread with images. Other than that, it's pretty um, <clears throat> pretty well done. Um, this minibus contains um, Deadpool kills the Marvel Universe one through four. Uh, Deadpool kills Shaded 1 through 4, Deadpool kills Deadpool 1 through 4, um, Deadpool vs. Carnage 1 through 4, and Night of the Living Deadpool 1 through 4. <clears throat> um, most of the stories here are really great. Um, the only one I really didn't care for was the uh, Night of the Living Deadpool. I'm just kind of over the whole zombie apocalypse thing right now. Um, I think it's mainly because of The Walking Dead. Um, I'm keeping up with the uh, trades that are being released. It's just, it's so repetitive um, what's going on in the stories and kind of uh, the main gist. Um, it, it's pretty much the same. Uh, just new villains, uh, not really villains in that, new uh, antagonists, um, same problems, uh, same issues with Carl. Um, yeah, but I digress. Um, <clears throat> but uh, Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe is pretty good. Uh, the basic gist of the story is that uh, Deadpool feels that um, he needs to kill everyone in the Marvel Universe. Um, he feels he's the only one who realizes that he can break the fourth wall, that he knows that he's in a comic. Uh, so it was a really good story. Um Ending was pretty funny. Um, the next one was Deadpool Illustrated. Um, that one was okay. Um, I'd never really read any of the older uh, stories like um, Moby Dick, uh, Sherlock Holmes. Um, so they kind of delve into that uh, kind of uh, genre of books. He he uh, strays away from the comic er uh, er comics and like goes into uh, old style um, uh, books. Um, and tries to kill them off that way. He feels that if he goes into the stories which um, kind of gave birth to superheroes, which kind of give the ideas to the creating of the superheroes, that he doesn't have to do any more work in killing superheroes. He can just go and kill them, and in turn that will kill the ideas that birth those superheroes. Um, it was pretty good. Uh, the next one was Deadpool Kills Deadpool. Um, this one is a really fun story. Um, let's see if I can find an image. Basically, there's a bunch of Deadpool uh, characters, and it's either Deadpool, you're on the side of Deadpool who's trying to save um, the Marvel Universe, or you're on the other, you're on the side of Deadpool, and he's trying to kill the Marvel Universe. Um, Pretty fun storyline. Um, 
there's like Carnage Deadpool, there's a Panda Deadpool, there's a Lady Deadpool, Galactus Deadpool, there's a T-Rex Deadpool, there's a Howard the Duck Deadpool. Pretty great um, story. Um, after that, it is the uh, Deadpool versus Carnage. Um, that was a good one too. Um, if you like, uh, basic premise is that uh, Deadpool wants to kill Carnage. Um, there can, I think I think he wants to do that because he says that there can only be uh, one uh, crazy person in town or something like that. Um, pretty good. Um, artwork is uh, really well done. I really like the. Um, let's see if I can find a good image for you guys. Um, yeah, Carnage is really well done here. Um, he is very menacing, very. Uh, very carnage. <laughs> um, after that was the Night of the Living Deadpool. Um, this one was my least favorite of these stories in this minibus. Uh, it was okay. Um, basic premise is that Deadpool wakes up from a food coma. He's eaten way too many chimichangas and he's been out for a few days. Finds out the world has gone to shit. Uh, there are zombies around. Um, they're not your typical zombies though. They can speak uh, certain phrases um they didn't really go into what the zombies are thinking or why they say the phrases that they do um but basically he's trying to survive the zombie apocalypse and by the end of the book um, or the end of the story he's carrying around this uh head of a, a scientist and he's having the zombie head lead him to a laboratory so he can go make an antidote for the zombie apocalypse. Um, when he gets there, he's overrun by some zombies. So then um, he, I kind of want to stop right there so I don't give away too much of the story, but basically it ends um, openly, I guess, uh, is the t for lack of a better term. Uh, there is a follow-up story to it which they did not include into this minibus um i'm not sure why they didn't do that um maybe the minibus came out after or before uh that follow-up story was released um but either way i mean it, it was okay um the night of the living deadpool is primarily in black and grays um except for deadpool um deadpool is in his normal reds and then you have like hints of uh, uh, yellows and greens um, here and there. Uh, they kind of signify different things, I guess, um, like flashbacks or uh, I think um, uh, him changing. Um, yeah, I mean, other than that, all the stories were really great. Um, I highly recommend picking this up if you love Deadpool. Um, if you're trying to get into Deadpool or if you love uh comedy in the marvel universe this was uh really funny um i was laughing throughout majority of the book um i give it a solid four and a half out of five um the only reason it's not a five out of five uh was because it was a short read i really wish they included more stories more content um yeah but i mean it, it's great you know uh there's nothing wrong with it um yeah uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, I This is my first review, so I'm kind of new to it. Uh, let me know what you guys would like uh, for me to do more, if there's anything I can do better. Um, and let me know um, what you guys want me to review. I know I don't really have that much in my collection right now, but I think I will be reviewing um, maybe every Mondays. Uh, I, next week, I will be putting up the review for the Absolute Superman for tomorrow. I just finished that. Uh, so, yeah, guys, thank you. Like, comment, and subscribe.